House of Representatives today moved in favor of a motion to mandate the Central Bank of Nigeria to hold and modify the proposed implementation of the cyber security level imposed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The lawmakers also moved in favor of a motion to probe the activities of the Foreign Affairs Ministry and missions, as well as the procurement process in the awards of contracts of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. Also, a motion on the urgent need to rejig the Niger Delta Power Holding Company with a view to resuscitate the Gabarian Power Station in Bielsa State was adopted. Correspondent Grace Ike has these reports and others from the Green Chamber. The Central Bank of Nigeria recently came up with a circular on 0.5% cybersecurity levy on customers without proper awareness and sensitization. This has generated public outcry with Nigerians calling on the federal government to review the policy. The House is worried that this act has led to apprehension as civil society organizations and citizens of the country have taken to conventional and social media to call out the federal government, give ultimatums for reversal of the imposed levy on Nigerians, amongst others. These lawmakers are beaming their torchlight on the proposed levy describing it as unfortunate following the economic situation in the country. The House is further worried that unless immediate pragmatic steps are taken to halt the proposed action of the CBN, the Cyber Crimes Act shall be implemented in error. Also at plenary, the House moved in favor of a motion to investigate activities of the Foreign Affairs Ministry and missions following issues on visa fee, among others. That several modes of visa applications are in force, including express services with huge costs paid by applicants who are sometimes denied visa after such payments. Also at plenary, the House urged the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is the Chairman of the Board of the NDPHC, to summon an emergency meeting of the Board for the urgent resuscitation of the Barren Power Plant in order to increase the national greed moved by Honorable Uboku Ofoji. Mr. Speaker, one is prompted to doubt the competence of the Niger Delta Holding Company to manage this power plant which has the potential to be the larger power station in the nation because of the comparative advantage of over, over other power plants in its proximity to gas. The debate for or against the award of contracts on the Lagos Calabar Highway has been at the front banner of national discourse. As plenary, the lawmakers accused the federal government of not following due process, hence the need to probe the contract. Disturbed that the contingent liabilities mm accruing to the federal government of Nigeria on this project violates the Deft Management Office Establishment Act 2023. As Section 22.3 states that a minister shall not guarantee an external loan unless the terms and conditions of the loan shall have been laid before the National Assembly. These lawmakers say the 2007 Procurement Act was violated and certain approvals by the National Assembly as required by the law were not given. The House is asking the Minister of Works Finance, Attorney General, Minister of Justice, to avail the National Assembly copies of the document for award of the contract. The motion was referred to the House Committee on Power for further legislative action. Plenary resumes next week Tuesday from the National Assembly. Grace Ike, ADBN News.